We now have players with four playstyle pluses. And the first SBC with one is Savi Simons. I am Dutch. He is Dutch. I had to do him. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not the biggest fan of the designs of the Make Your Mark players. But for the Dutch players, it's amazing. It has orange. It has red, white, blue. It's actually perfect for the Dutch players. So on him, it doesn't look bad. And talking about it doesn't look bad. His stats look absolutely amazing. I've already looked through the counter styles we can use. And basic is actually the best one. It's the most all round upgrade you can get all the other ones look all right basic is i think the one you want to go for and of course these are life cards so he can still get a plus two and perfect chemistry he just needs to play one time he gets perfect chemistry so that's 100 gonna happen i'm pretty sure unless i jinx it down and he gets injured two goals assist is possible five appearances could be hard but with the team the netherlands has it should be possible so he could go to a 97 rated but of course we are testing him as a 95 his play styles are actually very cool dead ball plus i ideal if you don't have anyone yet i kind of first wanted to try him as a cam but because of the rapid plus i think he would be better on the wing but i'm gonna test both today on the right attacking mid or right wing and on the cam position technical plus trivella plus some other decent play styles the whip pass tiki taka are very nice let's just test them out the only downside maybe is that he has four star weak food but especially from the right side it doesn't matter and i'm gonna try him out in this team as always in the 4-2-3-1 first on the right attacking mid after after that, on the camp position, let's play some champs and see how good he is. Okay, he feels fast. Cross is good. I'm bad at crossing and heading, but that was a good cross. Nice passing play. Let's see how fast he is. That is pretty fast. Obviously, Koulibaly is stronger, which makes sense. Okay. I got a little bit lucky there, but he did hold on to the ball and he did score. Okay, good play here. Good pass. What a move. Super fast there as well. He feels very agile. Okay, I went a bit far there. The acceleration after the skill move is insane. Okay, I right time that. Look at his pace. Oh my god. And good cross. Good pass there, quick. Nice. He's so quick after a skill move. Good cross again. Ooh, good passing play, decent shot. I think I could have done better there, but the passing play was sick. R1 dribbling. Oh, damn. That feels good. What a pass as well. Okay, it's offside, but what a pass. And especially that R1 dribbling feels amazing. Yeah, his R1 dribbling is crazy. Oh, I should have scored that. You can't get him off the ball when he's R1 dribbling. The pace. Oh my god, what a finish. That Trivella is amazing. To be fair, that's his first real good shot. Before that, it was... I wasn't sure yet. Oh my god. Score that. That was sick. He's so agile. And now all you do is run. And you get past the defender. Prevena. Nope. Penalty. 
And what do we do? We run. So agile, oh my god. Yeah, this is very sweaty, I know. And it's a typical FIFA goal. But the way he went past the defender there, very quick and agile. But let me try him as a cam as well, even though I love how fast he is on the wing. Let's see if he can also perform good on the cam position. Good positioning. Ooh, nice. I like how he can also intercept. Is that a good pass? Perfect. I should have done better there with Crespo, but that's a perfect pass again. And of course, the dead ball plus is a bonus as well, because if you don't have someone in your team yet with him, corners are easy. Free kicks hopefully are easy as well. We haven't gotten one yet. Nice passing plays again. And very fast again. There are one dribbling. I want that free kick. It's a bit soft, maybe. Oh, I went with the defender there. Yeah, he's so quick. Okay. Oh my god, what a save. That was a good shot. Good attempt for the finesse there. Nice pause. Mm, good attempt. Wasn't the cleanest, but he does make it dangerous again. The passing place. Please. Oh, that was bad by me by shooting there. But I still have the ball. Why do I shoot there? Great run. Quick. Shoot it. That gotta be a goal with him. That's what I kind of miss so far. Nice. Okay, there he scores. That's what you want from him. In that position, he needs to score. And he does. Good run by him. That was very good. I love how he creates the space with the run he makes. Still on the ball after that. Okay. No! Let me continue. That was very strong by him though. Oh, through the legs. Oh, nice. That control. That was just left stick dribbling. Good interception. Still has the ball. Kind of want to shoot. Okay, then I shouldn't red time it. The pace. And a good finesse shot as well. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. In the beginning, I wasn't that much of a fan of him. Yes, he was fast, but besides that, I was like, I don't know. He, he's just average. But he really grew on me. And as you can see, I played five games, nine goals and three assists. He's actually really good. Especially if you are a dribbler. Then you're gonna love him. Because he is super fast if you just run down the wing. For the meta rats, dribbling-wise, he's super agile with both left stick and R1 dribbling. And because he has that aggression and his strength as well, 
people don't really get him off the ball. So just dribble with him and no one can really touch you. Obviously, it's amazing that he has four playstyle pluses. One of them being dead ball, which is ideal for corners and free kicks. I didn't really try the Trivella too much. But the one time I tried it, it was actually super powerful. Didn't really Trivella cross either with him. So couldn't really test that. But his normal crosses were good. Like I said before, and if you've seen other videos of me, I'm very bad at crossing and headers. So the fact that he delivered a good cross says enough. And wow, he's fast. Obviously, he has with a basic 99 pace, with the rapid plus, and oh my god, you feel that. No one can catch up to him. And usually, you have defenders who can catch up to players, no matter what pace they have. Not with him. Just hit the ball to the front and just run after it. His passing was nice. Actually, very nice. It felt very clean and powerful. That way, you could do really a lot of tiki-taka plays with him. What I didn't like, though, is him on the cam position. I was expecting him to be amazing on the cam position, but for some reason, he hit behind players. Luckily, I got enough clips on the cam position, and he did do well, and he did score, and he did assist and everything. But I found it hard to really find him, because obviously, with the player review, I'm playing a little bit more on the player, and he was just constantly behind the player. And it took a while for him to really get away and create some space for himself, but once he did, he was deadly. The shooting, I still had to get used to it a little bit, even though he has 97 finishing, and in the box, he did finish everything. But I think it was just me needing to get used to him in the way of shooting. Because after I missed a few and I struggled a little bit, it went better and better. And there's a reason he has nine goals. The skill moves, obviously very nice. The weak foot, because he has the Trivella Plus, it doesn't really matter too much. Because instead of taking it with your weak foot, you just do a Trivella and it fixes the problem. The high, high work rates, especially if you play more on the wing, it's very nice work rate to have because he can just go up and down. He has the defending stats. He has the physical stats to even grab the ball if necessary. So he kind of create an extra pressure point to your opponent so they cannot really counter attack that fast which is very nice but the big question is he worth it i would say if you're dutch and you want to do him because of that go ahead do him especially if you can grind some packs some player picks stuff like that you will easily get it it's only four teams it's not that big of a deal but if it is big of a deal for you and you're doubting to do him or barcola you have also the evolution olis is he then really worth it he's double the price of barcola so i would say barcola is probably then a little bit better for you because he's just way cheaper it is a very fun player though and i would say if you have the coins for it or mainly if you have to fodder for it go and do him because he's most likely going to a 96 rated for sure and maybe even a 97 rated and he already feels insane so i can only imagine when that physical goes above 90 the dribbling above 95 the pace standard pretty much to 99 and every stat that is now kind of close to being completely full will then be full so in my opinion should you do him is he worth it yes he is worth it but if you're doubting because you don't have that much fodder if you don't have that many coins you have a free Olis, you have a cheaper barcola i would say go for them even though literally everyone has them and i don't want to tell you to do that i'm so sick and tired of those cars to play against but obviously for an honest opinion yes they are probably price wise maybe better but it's a very fun card and he probably will stay in my team i usually play a saka or a sane or royce or di maria i have a lot of options that i can actually play there but it is a very cool card he already has easily the chemistry and once he gets his debut then he gets guaranteed full chemistry so if your struggle is to fit him in no problem he fits in but it was a very cool card to try out i don't regret it hopefully you also don't regret watching this and if you don't make sure you give a like it helps me out a lot and it shows me that i should continue the way i'm doing it if you want me to do it differently also let me know in the comments because i want to improve and i can only do that with feedback so thank you for that thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one